So it's only been three minutes. This is three minutes in. So also, even though it's horrible, I guess if you're only having this horrible experience for like five minutes a day, then it's okay. You, it's it's just five minutes. But I'm checking the clock like, how long have I been drinking this? I feel like it went really long today, but it actually, I was still only in the third minute. So I think I finished the whole mixture in five minutes. So that was actually pretty good. It just felt really long because it just tasted really bad today. We'll see how the results are though. I'm almost done. Oh, I love when I only see the last few drops. I actually got happy. I actually was happy that I, that I was almost done. So I decided to just try to gulp the rest. I thought it was only going to take two gulps and then it ended up being four. I was trying to take like two big gulps to finish the rest. And then it was like four and I'm like, oh my God, why? It's like when you're drinking that salt water, it's like you never finish, but I'm finally finished. And then I immediately grab my ice water and I feel better immediately. Like I literally feel so much better right now. Hey guys, today is day three. The saltwater flush does not get any easier as the days pass. Actually, I feel like it gets harder. I feel like the more you're not eating actual food, the more you taste the salt in the saltwater flush. Therefore, I am, I'm pushing for 21 days on the master cleanse, however, I will be stopping the salt water flush and the laxative tea after 10 days. The normal length of the master cleanse is actually only 10 days. That's why I'm going to try to follow the full, the full um, instructions of the master cleanse for the first 10 days. I don't think I can drink the salt water for 21 days. And as I said, that sinity will have your stomach cramping in the middle of the night. I also cannot do that for 21 days. I will do it for 10 days though. So that's the first thing. Second of all, I'm down, you guys saw in my weight video today, I'm down 5.6 pounds in three days. So that's awesome. I will say though, the first couple days on the cleanse, you will lose the most weight. So don't get your hopes up that you're gonna be losing two pounds, one and a half pounds every day. It starts off like maybe two pounds, then one and a half. As you spend more time on the cleanse, you get down to maybe one pound a day. And sometimes you even get down to just half a pound a day. So the longer you stay on the cleanse, the more weight you will lose. It will still all add up in the end. And that's why I'm trying to do it for 21 days because during this go, like during this length of the cleanse, I'm hoping to lose 20 pounds. I do know that once I come off of the cleanse, I will gain at least five of those pounds back. If I lose 25 pounds in 21 days, that's even better because then I'll come back to the total weight loss of 20 pounds. However, if I jump only to 15 pounds, once I gain that, that initial five pounds back, once you start eating, your body starts retaining more weight. So you will pick up some of those pounds that you lost. The salt water cleanse helps you to lose that water weight too. So when you're doing that flush, you're, oh, excuse me, you're actually getting rid of that, um, getting rid of the, wa the water weight that your body's holding. So that's why the pounds kind of go down real fast in the beginning. So that's the second part. So 5.6 pounds in three days, awesome. Well, actually today is the start of the third day. So technically I lost 5.6 pounds in two days. Not bad. Anyway, so let me tell you guys how my day two went. It actually was fine. I was in Brooklyn, I was out. I went out with my friends. I went to a coffee shop, they had coffee. I didn't, you can drink black coffee on the cleanse but I didn't even want to eat, drink any coffee. I took my contain my container of um, the Master Cleanse mixture, the lemonade. I took that to the coffee shop with me. And 
the whole time we were there, I didn't even take a sip. I wasn't hungry, but I like to carry it with me so that if I'm around other people that are eating or if I'm feeling hungry, I have it with me and I can drink that to get something in my stomach to give me that feeling of feeling full, like your body gets that full signal because you just drink a bunch of liquid. So your stomach does fill up from that. So that's why I just always carry it. And I didn't even, I, like I say, the whole time we were at the coffee shop, the whole time I was with them, I didn't drink one sip of my Master Cleanse lemonade. So that was fine. So you don't want to tempt yourself if you do have to go out. I teach a class in Brooklyn, so I had to go out. I can't stay home for the first three days since I started on um, Wednesday. I could well, actually, yeah, I start, I'm like, wait, what day is it? Today, Saturday. So I started on Thursday and I had to teach my class so I couldn't stay home. So I was just like, let me just make sure I have enough of the master cleanse uh, mixture with me while I'm there. I took the ingredients with me. I packed a, I packed a bag with the lemon juice, with the tea, with the distilled water and with a small container of maple syrup. I, pa I have two, I have like a set of the ingredients at home and then I also make sure I have some that I can put in my car when I'm going out for the day and when I'm going when I'm not going to be home for the day so even if I'm going out like out I can always pack the two containers but it doesn't hurt to put an egg that's why I like the bottled lemon juice because you can put a whole bottle that's unopened in your car and then when you come back home you can just put it in the fridge and use that one first and then put a new unopened one the next time you go out. So um, I like those lemon juices. Like I don't I don't want to squeeze the fresh lemons because those kind of have the, that juice will have to be refrigerated. I've done the cleanse in the past where I did squeeze the lemon juice like I squeeze the lemons every single time. And honestly, I've done it without doing that and I, there's no difference. You still lose the weight, you still go through all the motions of the cleanse, you, it feels exactly the same. But I'm not using concentrated lemon juice, I'm using 100% pure fresh squeezed lemon juice. So that is the key. And the only one that I've been able to find in the US is called Santa Cruz. So however you need to do it though, if you don't have access to pure lemon juice, just squeeze some lemons and just make your containers, like just make more of the bottles of Master Cleanse to take with you during the day. And one other thing that I do when I'm uh, filling up my bottles, sometimes if I don't wanna pack so much, I just pack a um, gallon of dis the distilled water and I put that in my car. And then I measure out only the lemon juice and the maple syrup and I put that mixture of lemon juice and maple syrup, I put that in the container. That way it's, I, it's not mixed with the water yet. And then whenever I'm going to drink it, if I'm going to drink it, I can just add the water in. And then of course the cayenne pepper. So you know you have to sprinkle that cayenne pepper. So I also have like several bottles of the cayenne pepper. I have one in my cabinet. I leave one in my book bag that I carry around when I'm um, teaching and when I'm going out. And I also leave one in my car. So I just make sure I, I always have all of the ingredients accessible no matter where I am. It's easier the first three days if you're at home, but if you can't be home, then you also just want to make sure you're prepared because your body will start, you will start craving all types of random stuff. Sometimes I crave things that I haven't even eaten in like years. So your body is just sending you all these signals like you need to eat. So you have to overcome that. And it usually happens in the first three days. No, no more than the fourth day. After the fourth day, you should not be having those same cravings, heightened sense of smell. You shouldn't just be smelling a bunch of different foods. So after the fourth day, definitely you should be fine. So that is that. And then the other thing that I wanted to tell you guys is on day two or day three, you probably will get a headache. So make sure you're drinking enough water in between the Master Cleanse um, lemonade mix, but also make sure you're drinking enough water and then be prepared to get that headache on the second day. Yesterday, my head started pounding at about four o'clock, like it was like beating, but I knew that I was gonna get a headache either yesterday or today, so I just, and I might also get a headache today. I'm, Usually I only get a headache one of the two days. I don't get it the second and third day. So 
I just had to make sure I had some Advil, you know, to relieve my headache. So whatever you take for your headaches, just be prepared because you're probably going to have a headache. Again, that's your body going through the changes and, you know, moving on to this liquid diet is a big change for your body. So you're going to have some symptoms outside of um, the weight loss is one symptom, but you're also going to have a bunch of other symptoms. And then um, I just thought of it. The last thing that I want to say is for the saltwater flush. So I told you guys that if you don't have a movement one hour, hour, if you don't have a movement the whole day after doing your saltwater flush, like if you take it in the morning and you never go to the bathroom, for, then you have to add more of the sea salt to the water. I add this two teaspoons and that has been enough and it was actually surprising my body was like i won't get into the details but it was very surprising how well it worked i should say so just add the salt you definitely want to go through that step you're kind of cleansing your colon you're getting all your flesh and everything out of your system so you definitely want to make sure you're having those um even though it will taste worse Amazon sells these jumbo straws, so it's very hard because even when you drink it from a straw, it still gets on the back of your tongue, and that's where you, you taste it. I tried today with the straw gulping. I needed the combination because it, the salt, you could just taste the salt more, and it just, it tastes like you're just drinking, like it tastes like you're drinking salt water. That's what you are drinking, but that's a horrible taste. So just try whatever you need to, to, to get through that. As you see, I have to drink ice water. That's what I found is helps me after I do the salt water, just right after drink as much ice water as I need to, to feel better from that, because that's a lot of salt. I did read that if you have high blood pressure though, you shouldn't do the salt water flush at all as part of the cleanse. So if you're not able to do it, then you won't have the full experience of the cleanse. But um, yeah, I, I find that doing the flush, you, you see the results of the flush. So I like to do it because, you know, it is also a cleanse. So it feels good to kind of go through the motions and cleanse your body too. You start having more energy, your skin gets clearer. Like it really helps many different things. So I propose that you guys, if you're gonna do the master cleanse, follow it as much as you can pertaining to your health and your circumstances and your situation like do what's best for your body but also if you can don't short sell yourself because you will get more out of it if you follow it exactly that being said i do have a pdf of the master plans i'm going to try to find it i haven't used it in years but it, it is a there there is a pdf in the book with more information about the plans i will post it in the link of this video also, if I'm not posting a video of my update on YouTube, you guys can catch me on my Facebook page because I go live on Facebook all the time. So I'm always giving updates on Facebook about how things are going. So that's Life Daily with Shonda. It's actually Shonda Life Daily on Facebook. So if you search Shonda Life Daily, then you will find my Facebook page and then you guys will get chimed once you start following me when I'm going live. So you guys can see kind of what updates. It's easier for me to do Facebook Live updates than to make these videos of my whole day, but I will try to at least make one of these. I wanted to make the video every day, but I thought it's like I don't think it's going to work that well when I'm in Brooklyn, so I probably will try to definitely make the videos every other day and I will definitely that's what I'll strive for, but I will be on Facebook every single day. So you guys will get updates either way. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you can follow along my journey with me. I'm on day three. It is only 8.20 in the morning. So I took my salt water early because I'm supposed to go out today, maybe around 9, 10. So I wanted to take it early. So at the start of my, my third day, I'm down 5.6 pounds and we will see how the next few days go.